What's up dudes, it's Sally and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to record and render videos uh, using After Effects. Now if you don't know how to record using 1080p with Fraps, I have a video using Sony Vegas that will be posted, link in the description, just copy my settings down for Fraps. And the rendering and recording section will be different just for After Effects. So basically After Effects is a very complex editing program and I, I know it's really hard to kind of look through and go through especially when you're trying to render stuff so really all you need to do if you just have a quick commentary or a video clip that you want to you know render like basic fade in video fade out high quality basic stuff it's really easy so all you're gonna do is new file new new project really simple composition compositions are like your layers in Photoshop uh, then you can do composition new composition now before you do that you're gonna want to go to your file and find out where your videos are. Now, I have a big fraps file, and just say this video. You're gonna want to look and see it is 1 minute and 48 seconds. If you have multiple video clips, you're gonna want to hold shift and select them all, go to more details, and see the length. It'll show it accordingly. Now, so 1 minute and 48 seconds. So you're going to go to After Effects, Composition, New Composition, 48 for the seconds, and then one minute so now it's gonna make a composition <clears throat> one minute and 45 seconds long you can see here so now you're gonna to want to take your video clip nice and simple the same one you took the time from or the multiple clips you can just sh simply shift and click and drag it in you can just drag them all in at once and drop it in it'll import the clip you'll have it here under your project media drag it into the composition which is your bottom timeline down here let go it'll bring it in you will have your near preview right here you can scrub through and see how if your computer's not that good at rendering, uh, you can put this on auto, and it'll uh, depend on your, you know, like your uh, graphics card and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. If you want to add fades, just select the your clip, hit T for uh, toggling opacity, toggle the very beginning of your clip to make it fade in. Click the stopwatch, put opacity to zero, go out about a couple seconds, drag the opacity back up to 100. Go to the end, and then if there's multiple clips, you're going to want to like minimize this, hit T again. But if you have the same clip, hit T, uh, have open your opacity, go to the end of the clip, drag the stopwatch to zero, come forwards a few seconds, and drag it to 100%. So basically, you have a black, fade to clip, clip, fade to black. Really, really simple. After Effects is really good quality too for rendering. So yeah, you have that now. You're all good. You have your clip, everything edited and put together. Just a quick tip: if you have like your, uh, say, I'll just give me an example. Say I have another clip in here, right? And I drag it in. I have, I have two clips, right? Well, if you drag them in, it drags it in, in order of the clip. So this is the second clip. You put it down here and say this first clip it ends right like here, all right? If you guys can't see it that well, make sure you put on 1080p in full screen just to make sure you guys can see the little details I'm doing. Let's say the clip ends right there, and you don't, you can't line it up perfectly because you have to line it up perfectly for each frame where there's going to be a black spot in the middle, right? All you really have to do is hold down Shift, and it'll automatically connect to the ending, ending, so it'll be perfectly, you know, synced up to the next clip right as it goes, so you won't have to worry about those black spaces. Be careful when importing multiple clips because it is hard to deal with, and make sure before you render that it is in order, just before you know. It should show an order on the timeline, but just in case it doesn't, you just guys want to make sure. Um, so yeah, after you have that, you want to go to Composition, Add to Render Queue. It's going to add your composition that you were just working on to your render queue, not something else, just what you're working on. So have the open composition that you have to send to render queue. You can't be in something else. You have to be in what you're working on. In most cases, it's Comp 1. You're going to want to do Output 2, select your file location, name it, and hit Save. And then go to Output Module, after this loads in a second, Output Module, and you're going to want to go to Format H.264, and Toggle Audio, go to Format Settings, go into Video, Profile High, Levels 5.1, Bit Encoding Rate, CBR, Maximum Frames Per Second, you're going to want to do Constant Bit Rate, which is CBR, and Frames Per Second, like, uh, not Frames Per Second, Megabytes per second, I'm going around 16 is very good. I've tried at 1,000. It's not worth it. The file is so huge. That's what she said. And 
it really it's not worth it you don't see any better quality over 16 frames per, frames per second honestly on youtube so just i recommend 16 frames per second or 16 not frames per second but 16 megabytes per second you're doing 29.97 frames per second but 16 megabytes a second just keep that keep that straight i kind of got confused there uh do not toggle that audio just you know aac high it'll be default settings for audio multi-pixel mp4 uh standard okay and you're gonna make sure you check output audio because default uh, After Effects doesn't enable audio. So make sure you do that. Don't do anything with crop or resize. Make sure uh, video output is checked. It should be checked. Hit OK. And then hit render and you'll be done. It renders relatively fast compared to Sony Vegas and you'll have your clip. Uh, it'll be in MP4 format with really high quality and it's a really nice editing. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. And if you have any questions at all, please leave a comment. And uh, or have you on Skype, I can specify if you need to do something in a specific way or whatever. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you're interested in Sony Vegas because you have that program, check out my other video. Link will obviously be in the description as well as the fraps settings will be on that video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.